Yeah, what's going on? I go by the name Cracker White. That's my artist name. My real name is Malcolm Blake O'Neill. People say, uh, man, what, what did you do to get to this point? What did you do to get here? Oh, what can, how can I help? Well, I'll tell you this. This right here, probably the best outlook in two years. I was sitting on a corner in LA doing drugs. Very cheap. It was very easy to do drugs in LA because they're plentiful. I had to get out of there. I made my way back home. People tend to have a misconception of what homelessness is. Homelessness is a sickness. It's something that can happen to anybody. You, me, you're one ticket away being pulled over or hitting someone in your car, killing them on your phone to being homeless the next day. This can happen to anybody. You're not exempt. I'm to this point in life where I have to over sign to eat. I pray to God none of your children, my children, their grandchildren never have to over sign to eat. It's crazy because the only thing stopping me from robbing people and going to prison is this sign. And it's crazy because the only thing that's going to put me in jail today is holding this sign. It's a, it's a misconception that we have uh, with people because I don't sleep in a box at nighttime and I don't sleep uh, in a bed. People feel like they can treat you any type of way. Discrimination is real and it's abuse. I feel like if you're not helping and you can and you neglect to help someone, then you actually become part of the problem. Myself, I'm a recording artist, full blown. Last year, 2000, actually 2019, I recorded an album in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I ended up firing my manager because after eight months of representing me, he did not know one title to any of my songs. How would you represent someone you don't even know the title to their song? Well, I took a couple names that he gave me and I went to California with it. Took it all the way to LA with nothing but what I owe you and my talent that God gave me. I was robbed at gunpoint, taken for everything except for the underwear I had on. At that point, what do you do? You ain't got nobody, no resources, you know no one, and you're in a place you don't know. I'll tell you what you do. You start over. Get your ass up and do something. You can stay there and, and soak in your slumber and cry yourself a river. I got up, got that buggy, got this sign, we put underwear on it. Underwear led me to having pants, led me to having shoes. I asked for it. I made my way to Skid Row. If anybody's ever heard of Skid Row, Skid Row is real. After a week, after a week being on Skid Row, I was talking to somebody's way I'm talking to you right now. I looked down, and as quick as I looked up in that horn box, someone was standing like this with an X on their stomach. Two people walked up and X'd him out with razor blades. His guts fell out of his stomach. At that point in time, I made my way off the skid row and went to go see Hollywood Boulevard where the stars are on the ground. I exposed myself to Hollywood Boulevard and got to know a couple people. I found the most popular strip club in America, Crazy Girls. Shout out Crazy Girls, everybody there. And I made my way to sleeping in front of Crazy Girls because I know there was rappers coming through and I was going to get some exposure somehow. The last time I seen T.I., I said, Tip, I, I look forward to working with you, sir. He said, Cracker White, I'm waiting on it. 
boom. T.I. said my name. I'm not even a fan, but I'm a, I'm a friend. The one thing they didn't have in LA was no love. I didn't have no love. There was nobody that knew me, nobody that knew my history. And I was just meeting new people. I made my way back to Tampa. I said, there's somebody that loves me in Tampa. I know there's some people that I recognize. So I came back to Tampa. Since I came back to Tampa, I realized that the only love that we got is internal. The only love that you got, the only God that you got is not visible. We are God. God is love. Hearts don't look like this. I think hearts look like this. And I feel that you, whatever you do, do it the best and represent it. If you're a, if you're a firefighter, get you a firefighter shirt, wear it seven days a week and fight every fire you can. If you're a hooker, get you a shirt that says hooker and do as many things as you can to represent what you're doing. Me, I'm a full-blown rapper. Full-blown. <laughs>